people, today is Christmas Eve here in the United States and I am going to show you how to make a mashed potato. Mashed potato is a must dish during Christmas Day or Christmas Eve or New Year's or even Thanksgiving in the United States of America. This is just very simple a mashed potato. I only have this much of recipe or ingredients just minced garlic i've used four cloves of garlic and also six tablespoons of butter mixed with a cup of milk and definitely salt so i've already boiled it for 15 minutes and now i'm ready to mush them so i'm not going to be using um the electric blender but rather i want to do it you know using my hand um okay so just follow me very very easy so just putting placing the mash the potatoes here cooked potatoes and then you just have to squeeze them with like this or mash them like this and then once you have done um mashing the potatoes you can see all of them now um it's almost completely um, mashed now I think I need to use my muscles <laughs> and I have an electric blender I can use electric blender but this is fine since it's Christmas it's okay to um, do it this way and now they're all mashed I'm going to pour the um, milk and also the butter <laughs> which I microwave them to mix them. <laughs> Slowly just mixing it again. This is very slippery. Wow, I'm going to lose a pound just to do this. Or building more muscles in my arms. In my arms. Or my arms. I can't even talk now. Okay. Pouring more of the milk in butter and mash it again. You see how easy they are? Instead of um, eating rice, you can you you can eat the mashed potato. With the dish that we're making today, we have roasted beef and also ham. And my husband is preparing his, um, what is that? Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts, vegetables. He's an expert of making that. So he's doing that now. And we're serving the um, beef right now. So it's easier for us too. Are you going to do them outside? Yeah, I'm going to try to do it outside. He's going to grill them outside rather than using an oven. Oh my God. Seriously, I'm already sweaty. I think there's one that's not cooked. It's at the bottom. Okay. Four more. It's exactly just one cup. And I added also um, two tablespoons of salt there mixed with butter and the milk. Wow, you can see that now. Can you see it? Just good. It's enough for about eight Yukon potatoes. Not the big, not the big potato, but the medium size um, Yukon um, Yukon potato. I'm sorry. Because you know potatoes, they also have different kinds, right? So, but I'm using the the Yukon one, which is the yellowish. You can see it's yellow. This is good now. I don't need to add butter. So what I Next thing I'm going to do is be getting the bottom part. I'm sweaty, to be honest with you. I think I'm, I'm going to lose a pound just to do this. 
Okay, they're all there now. Then the last thing I'm going to add is the garlic. I was gonna saute this, but my husband said it's gonna taste um, crunchy, so it, it's preferably this, you know, raw, just minced cut. But I do really prefer to have it saute. but um, you can also add um, scallion or anything green to have kind of like a garnishing on it you know it's a picture Instagram something like that <laughs> picture Instagram something like that uh, good photo for Instagram but it's just good enough without 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 it right I need spoon to scoop want to waste it I don't want to waste a bit of this mashed potato because it's really yummy 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 yum see so yellowish and you can also add um, bacon on top of this but since we're gonna have ham and beef Roasted beef today, don't want to do that. So you can see. Look at this, people. See how good they are? Oh my God, I can't wait to eat it. Okay, thank you. I hope you enjoyed and you learned something from me. Bye for now.